Let's see how to update the firmware of Cheetah 3.0. First we need to put the motherboard into DFU mode. We put the jumper cap from the position of boot 0 and GND. Move to 3.3 volts and boot 0 and press the Then press the reset button. Then let's see. Did you find this device on Mobaxterm? Then you can see that there is an STM32 here. Now belongs to this DFU mode. Now configure the firmware for it, and burn it. Compile and start burning. The 0483DF11 here is our USB. Wait a minute. Well then we see the word successfully. We have successfully recorded. Let's take a look at its ID. We see that the ID of STM32 has appeared. Then when we finish recording, it will automatically go into run mode. But we need to move the jumper cap from 3.3 volts to GND and boot 0 before the next boot let's remove the jumper cap on the motherboard first Then press the reset button. Next, let's update the V0 display. We also need to let it enter DFU mode first. Then put a jumper cap on this. Then we press the reset button. Check to see if you are still in DFU mode. We see that a device has entered DFU mode. 
An hour 446 has exited from DFU mode, then it's our option. Enter DFU mode, you need to come one by one. If both enter DFU mode not, recognize. Let's configure it first. Here we choose 042. No bootloader. Clock reference select internal clock. USB selects PA9 and PA10. OK. We use the command just now to compile and burn in. OK. Our firmware has been burnt. Let's remove our jumper cap. Press the reset button again. Seeing that the firmware of 446 and 042 has been burned successfully. Now let's see if the ID has changed. Let's take a look at the motherboard. then the ID of the motherboard has not changed. Updating the firmware ID will not change. Display ID is 3720. It hasn't changed. We save restart. OK, it's connected to the motherboard. Then and we also see the temperature. Then our display can also be used. Button can be operated. Then here is the end of our burning tutorial.